Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Pushing north offers more opportunities to probe the Dakota Badlands. At Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Here, the Little Missouri River courses through the entire preserve in western North Dakota. There is much to dazzle the eye here. The panorama of Painted Canyon, sheer wilderness, peaks, buttes, and canyons, layered with rock strata of pink and red, green and ochre. For some visitors, a highlight is watching a summer thunderstorm. This is the only national park named for a president, or for that matter, any person. It is uniquely Theodore Roosevelt among all parks in the system. In his lifetime, however, he was often referred to simply as TR. This Badlands landscape had a deep and lasting influence on his life. From a family line of early Dutch settlers in New York, TR had a pampered upbringing. He had been sickly, weak, and nearsighted, but he was full of pluck. In 1884, when Theodore was 25, both his wife and his mother died on the very same day. TR was shattered. He came out west to these North Dakota badlands, seeking time to heal. Retiring from public life, he settled at the Maltese Cross Ranch, which he'd invested in. Now he would throw himself into the vigorous job of cattle ranching. With his squeaky voice and eastern manners, his ranch hands laughed at him, at first. To them, he was the four-eyed dude. But Theodore Roosevelt soon won their respect. T.R. fell in love with this land. It became the source of his tremendous energy. When he returned to public life to become the 26th president of the United States, he did more for the national park system than anyone before or since. You can visit the site of the Maltese Cross Cabin, TR's first ranch house in the Badlands. Teddy would be at home here. Furnished in typical fashion of the day, a few of the items belong to him. He also would appreciate trail riders at the Peaceful Valley Ranch. Organized rides begin here and explore the wide open spaces. This is a horse-friendly park. Cross-country horseback travel is allowed. There are even wild horses, mustangs typically ranging in small bands of five to 15 animals, consisting of a dominant stallion, his mares, and their offspring. Today, Theodore Roosevelt National Park is one of the few areas in the West where free roaming horses may be readily observed. Another free ranging mammal is the American bison, or buffalo, the largest mammal on the North American continent. While free to roam, they are managed by the National Park Service. But without the intervention of Theodore Roosevelt, the wilderness warrior and arch conservationist, these animals might have vanished from the American landscape. This park preserves not only a remarkable wilderness, but the memory of a remarkable man. <laughs> 